Yeah, like I've no no arguments with that point, but I think like you have to consider like I think a player needs to be given time to settle to new environment and everything. And I had a couple of injuries. I was cup tied from other things. You know what I mean? So that meant me missing games, starting games, missing games, and that's no good for any player. But like I said, I've no I've no ill feelings towards anyone at the Pats club. John was an excellent club. They treated me very well. But Galway's my home, so just happy to be back home. And uh, when the decision came to come back to Galway, uh, had you just think hard about it? Or um, was it easy no, because the fact of the matter is, is Galway made contact with me. The Pats club didn't make contact with me. There was a new manager at the time, Jeff, and he didn't make contact with me. So like, it seemed to add up at the time that I wasn't probably not wanted. So the chance was given for me to go and, and I took it. And did you take that into the game tonight? Um, no, no, no. Um, well, maybe. Maybe a small bit. Um, but um, like I said, you know, like Pats have bounced back from this. Do you know what I mean? As in, like, they're an excellent club with excellent players, and uh, we we're just a better team in the night. And uh, overall, uh, Galway United, do you think uh, you're a team that maybe might be looking towards the other end of the table? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to surprise people. I think, like, the papers, the way they're, people are saying that we're going to finish last, I think, like, nearly 8 out of 10 are saying that we're going to finish last, and we've got the grip between our teeth now, and we're going to use that for the rest of the season. Okay, and in terms of Pats, you were saying, do you think they they bounce back? They will, yeah. They're too good not to bounce back, to be honest. It's um, it's a fantastic club with fantastic following, but um, it's just that we're the better team tonight. If that happens. Yeah, yeah. But why do you think uh, you sort of look so comfortable in uh, in the Galway United jersey? And you sort of, I don't think I saw a Pats performance from you where you got as much possession and the yeah, impact on the game. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. I agree. But like I said, it's a like when you when you move from a so-called smaller club to a bigger club. There's already big players at that club. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't just like where's down in Galway maybe it was based around me a small bit, but like when I came up here there was Keith Fahey and you know, players of that caliber, Mark Quigley. So like it's not just you, you know, they, they need as much of the ball as you do. So I found that part hard to adapt to as such. But like like I can't fault him. Like, you know, he stood by me through a lot of tough times with like, injuries and like I said, it's just it's just that's the way things work out in the end. Um, yeah, yeah, he's very, as you can tell, he's very organised, you know, um, like, we had our homework done on Pats tonight, and I honestly think that we, we were by far the better team tonight. It's fair to say you kind of set yourself up tonight without scoring three goals in mind, you know, more to kind of... Well, yeah, t like, we set ourselves, we, we didn't want to concede, like, not early in age, you know what I mean, but um, like I said, we did go out to attack, we, we went for three up front, me, Jay, and Vinnie Farty. And I think like we were the better team of both halves when it comes to attacking. So like whereas we I, I don't think we would have been fancy to have the most efforts on goals. Like I must have I could have had four or five in the first half. Do you know what I mean? And like if more calm, more more composed on the ball. But um like we did go out with an element of like protecting our back four as such, but um when it when it came to attacking I think we didn't let ourselves down. Okay. Thanks, 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 we tried to learn during the last few weeks what St. Pat's are all about and um, encounter that. You know, it's a very difficult place to come. Um, unfortunately, we managed to do that tonight. Derek also said that you know, the commit, um, you were kind of written off before, before the ball was kicked, and that was kind of the kind of bit between the teeth. Has that played any, any part in your preparation? Yeah, it has, to be fair. Um, um, I thought some of the guys were a little bit harsh, you know. Um, Everyone's got to sound in the same place, and, and that's a great motivation for my players and, and me. Um, you know, hopefully, that's raised a few eyebrows for us, you know. Okay, so this is your first spell, man. It is indeed. So, how are you find tonight? How have you found settling in to your pre season? It's, well? it's been great, you know, the players, knowing the players, knowing the club, knowing the area has helped. Um, it's it's been great, you know. We've we've worked really really hard pre season. Um, we've had plenty of minutes on the pitch, and um, and, and we look strong tonight. You know, the uh, Jeff Kenner factor was discussed uh, in the build up to the game, and uh, I'm sure they would have wanted to get a win just for him being his first game here. Was that an incentive for your players? No, not at all. It wasn't about me v Jeff or Galway v Jeff. It, it was it was sympathetic for Galway United and. Um, you know, that didn't enter my head, it didn't enter the head of the players, we never spoke about their staff. You know, we had a job to do uh, against their team, we, we had a feeling, we knew what it would be. Um, and we've gone and done it. Tonight. Derek obviously you know, got the two goals and a lot of past fans probably never saw a player that he seems to look when he's in the goal in the jersey. What, what do you think? Derek's an exceptional talent, you know, he's... he's um, He's a moody bugger. Uh, it's just getting the best out of him, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, he's, he, he can hurt teams if he, if he plays 
the way I asked him, uh, and he did that tonight. Um, I can't answer the question why he didn't do it here, but as long as he does it for me, I'll have no problem. And uh, accommodating himself and Jay Boucher in the same team, so he's having an exciting attack in match. He does if we do it right, yeah. You know, it, it can be looked upon as negative, but for me, when, when you go forward, it's a 4 3 3. Um, and we've got the energy and you know, the application to go, to go and make it a 4 3 3 at times, and, and, and we did that. Um, you know, Jay Owen and, and Derek, you know, they've got license to go forward, and I'm not asking a lot of them defensively either, you know. So we, we try and press teams high up the pitch and, 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 and get in people's faces and, and play that way, and, and it's way for us. So. You gave a debut to five players tonight, obviously, the extensive pre season you had to stood you. Yeah, um, you know, we've, we've worked really hard. I, I, I tried to get as many games as I could. I got seven games in, and, and it worked for us in the sense that, you know, as much as you run players around training grounds, ultimately, you only get match fit by playing matches. Um, and I knew I was going to have a problem with fluidity in the team because players didn't really know each other that well. Um, so that's, that's why we had the number of games we did, and, and, and I think he showed the benefits of that tonight. What happened um Dave Cook he was down to start and he ends up in the stand? Yeah, Cook he did me a massive favour and pulled his arm swing in the uh, warm up so no, I feel I feel for David, he's worked really, really hard pre season. We've not had a we've not had a single injury pre season um, and we managed to get one in the warm up. Um but Keem O'Brien come in. Keem was to be honest, Keem was very, very unfortunate not to start anyway, he's been excellent for me pre season. And he slotted in nicely and, and did a fantastic job. He, he's, he's excellent to keep us in possession. Uh, and, I was, and I was pleased for him. Obviously, not the start you were looking for. That's an understatement, to say the least. Uh, bitterly disappointed. Full credit to Galway. Uh, but that's nowhere near good enough for our St. Pat. Where did you think uh, the sort of result came from? Uh, well, they scored three goals and we didn't. Um, I thought we were sloppy with the ball. We overplayed two shots, not good enough from start to finish. Was there a touch of complacency? Maybe everyone was writing the way up? Um, I don't think so. Uh, maybe you could argue that the performance portrayed that. Uh, but certainly there was no talk of that in the dressing room before the game or all week leading up to the game. Um, if that is the case, I obviously have to nail that down. That's my job. Colby, obviously, team, team you know very well. Are you, were you surprised that they had that in their locker? No, not at all. Uh, I know most of the squad very well. I know what they're capable of doing. Uh, I told our players what they were capable of doing. Um, but unfortunately, the message didn't get through. The lack of uh, a couple of experienced players, probably told physically, maybe he's looked a little smaller than... You would have last season. They obviously Pat's had a very big team. Didn't you? Um, I mean, I don't think that comes into it. You know, uh, it, football is football. Um, you know, physically strong or, or not. If, if you have players who are willing to get on the ball, take responsibility, play with a bit of pride, a bit of passion, determination. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter what size you are. Um, really, that would probably only come into it in set pieces. But uh, for me, it's, I'm, just, I'm just bitterly disappointed with the performance. Brought on a couple of substitutes at halftime up, up, up top, and was it just those two, two goals really killed everything then? Was well, well, that was it. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, there's no good time to concede a goal at all, but two quick ones after half time when you're already a goal down, that's game over. Mm. Ryan Guy made a big difference, I thought, when he came on. Yeah. Well, Ryan has been injured unfortunately for the last couple of weeks, um, but he, he is a big player for us, uh, and he will get better. Um, he did make a difference when he came on. And we just had to be careful with him. That's why we didn't start with him tonight. But obviously, the more we train, the fitter he comes. And I would like to think he'll be ready to start next week. What about Mark Quigley and a couple of other guys? How are they? Um, Quigs is still probably a couple of weeks away. Um, after that, we're looking at suspensions. Are you worried about where the where the goals are going to come down? Um, well, yeah, the fact that we had two shots on target in 90 minutes as the home team is very worrying. Um, but that's something we have to work on. You know, Mark Leach didn't do a full pre and he was injured as well. So, I mean, there's, there's probably a fitness issue there with a lot of players who played tonight. But I'm not, I don't want to sit here and make excuses that it was a lack of fitness or whatever. Galway thoroughly deserved the win. We were very disappointing. And uh, there's not really much more I can say about that.